Heads up, y'all. It is the summer of extreme barbecue. And when I say heads up, I mean cabbage heads up. Fire it up. Great TV time, here we go. Oh man. Welcome to the summer of extreme barbecue. This is great. Cold. Great, I like that good part. It's heating up a little bit. Birthplace of American barbecue, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. <sighs> We're having a good, I'm drinking some uh, yunling today and it is frosty cold. Thank you very and much. And actually, it's good because it's a little toasty here. Uh, we're coming to you from the birthplace of American barbecue, the low country of South Carolina. As always with me, three-time South Carolina state champion, Jack Waybor. I'm Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com. And yeah, this summer we're doing a little bit different. Every week, Thursday usually, we're loading up episodes of uh, Extreme Barbecue. That's and right. uh, today, something a little different. Yep. An extreme side. And what's what's extreme about this one? The, uh, the, the process has been around for quite some time. What we're going to do is make a cabbage head uh, and we're going to smoke it. But instead of smoking on a regular smoker, we're going to drop it straight into our charcoal chimney. And we're going to cook it in a charcoal chimney and it is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, a little bit extreme, uh, only from the standpoint that, hey, who else do you know has put a cabbage head inside of a chimney? Hey, it's a vegetarian one, too. Hey, that's awesome. I guess. Does bouillon count as vegetarian? Sure. Let's get into the All ingredients right, so it. we'll see what we got. What we're going to need for this uh, for this operation, Bill, we're going to need a head of cabbage. And I chose a, a smaller head of cabbage uh, to fit to make sure that it fits inside of the charcoal chimney. And a nice regular, um, I like to use a Vidalia onion, sweet onion or you can use uh, pretty much whatever kind of onion you want. I noticed at the uh, regular grocery store, we have a Harris Teeter up the way, they had local or regional cabbage. Yes, cabbage is local right now. Uh, and it is uh, quite the tasty item. So what we need to do uh, to make this whole thing work is we need to make a spot to put our fat. Now fat can be anything you want it to be. It can be butter, which is what we're gonna use today. But I'm one of those kind of guys that when I make bacon, I say bacon drippings for the renderings off of bacon when I do it. And this dish right here. I forgot about that. You said that. Fantastic. Phenomenal with bacon drippings. So basically what we do is we're going to cut the core out of the onion first. And we get that all kind of a, this a nice little hole right here is what we're doing. And I'm using the old Yoshi blade because, uh, well, we have Yoshi blades laying around. And move that off to the side. And then we take our beef bouillon. Actually, let's take a little bit of butter first. I put it in the bottom. So we open up our butter. Yummy. So we get a little bit of that off of there. We kind of layer a little bit of that in. And we take some of our beef bouillon and we sprinkle it right on top of the butter. That was good, doesn't it? And when you talk about affordable, there's not much more affordable than cabbage and, and onion. I had a cabbage and an onion. True. And then just because I want to make sure that in good shape here. I'm going to get a glove out and glove up for just a minute. And we're using these cheap disposable gloves because, well, it's easy. And then you take a little bit more butter, as much as you want, and you pack it down into that hole that you just made. And make sure you use plenty of it. And that is pretty extreme as it is. That looks like a yellow sweet onion. It does. It is a yellow sweet onion. I picked it right up out the, out the old grocery store. We like the Vidalias. Yep. And then you take yourself, we're going to get a little bit of foil here, and we're going to make kind of a, a foil boat is what we're going to do. Just kind of something to hold it with so we can kind of protect the outside. So you wrap this one up. Just like that. And that will protect it kind of from burning up inside of our chimney. Notice that I left the uh, onion skin on the outside to kind of give me the same... Uh, same protection as that goes. Then we take the cabbage. Basically doing the same thing, right? Doing the same thing. We cut the cut the the uh, core side off the cabbage. Um, if I was putting this on a grill, um, I would probably make a flat side uh, on the back side just to, just to give ourselves a little bit of flat, so it'll stand up. See how that does that, Bill? Uh huh. And then. 
take the core out using once again our extremely sharp Yoshi blade and you work it out of there until you get yourself a nice hole and you get the whole core out because core the cabbage core is bitter and we certainly don't want to be dealing with bitter and get it all out of the inside there and that's go. going to be the cavity for and that's the cavity the rest of the good stuff the rest of the good stuff we'll lay it flat just like that we'll get our butter we'll put a little bit more butter in there this butter is is softened pretty good we start out with a little bit of butter and then in the cabbage i'll use beef bouillon in the cabbage i'm going to use chick or beef bouillon in the onion i'm going to use chicken bouillon in the cabbage and i got all that up there it's just a regular old bouillon cube that i kind of chopped up and then you fill the rest of that with some more butter and if you're using bacon grease well that's always good too and you kind of get it all in there real good see that you can pretty much use it all right look at that and then you do the same thing with the foil so it's kind of a cool presentation when you've got a whole head of cabbage and a whole onion and you combine them to make your side your side dish but yeah. that's not exactly the extreme that we're talking about because we're going to try to kick the level of extreme up for the summer of extreme barbecue and instead of putting it on the grill we'll pop it right on this we're gonna put it right hot, with charcoal chimney. hot fresher now charcoal chimney and interestingly enough we got just a little bit of charcoal in here we probably only need about about an hour's worth probably don't even need an hour's worth of charcoal but to start with oh that looks good i'll put it right here to start with just we're going to put a little bit of foil right down on the in there to kind of give us a little bit of a on a glove and then we're going to drop the cabbage right in there cannonball and then we're going to drop the onion right in there and then to make sure that the heat stays in we're going to put Ooh. this right on top and we're going to let it sit for about an hour gang we'll check on it momentarily we'll check on it every once in a while to make sure that it's cooking but uh, while we sit here and uh, wait for this to cook and uh, drink our ceremonial one beer. I have an idea. Let's look at some great plates. That's a great idea. Great plate time. Here we go. Hey, thanks for sending these in. You can always send them to greattv.com. Uh, there's a submit button or jack at greattv.com or bill at greattv.com. We do love our great plates. Uh, get them to us any way that you can. Uh, we like pictures of cookers, pictures of food. It really doesn't make any difference to us. Just send us a great plate. Look at that. Great plate from Phil Johnson. From Danville, New Hampshire. Boy, that one looks good. Four pound ribeye roast, Montreal seasoning, and Old Bay Ooh, rub mixed. Man. Smoked with 80% apple and 20% history. Awesome. Make hickory. that hickory. Hickory. The rest is history. I like that better. Uh, next up, Derek Stapleton. He's sending us a bunch of stuff. Derek's always good for sending us a great plate. A nice looking smashed potato there. Looks like some Boy, that does parm on there. Uh, next up, great plate from Ainsley. Ansley? Ans Ansley? 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 Hey. Smoked leg of lamb oh. for his Easter dinner. Yummy. He's over there in New Jersey. Thank you for sending that. And let's see, we got one more. Jack's Tailgaters. Oh, sending that's our, us that. That's one. our buddy. That's my buddy uh, from Jack's Tailgaters. They came to Carolina Pitmasters uh, Barbecue Cooking School last session. Louisiana Po' Boys, slow cooked on the Weber Performer. Oh, yummy. In black iron skillet thanks fellas we appreciate that as always send them our way and always get social with us if you like the videos on youtube you can like us on facebook and uh send us the picture as well and while we've been talking this has been cooking through the miracle of little time lapse tv that's right and this is what we got beer. yeah i'm almost done so we got a cabbage that has been cooked the cabbage was cooked in a um the cabbage was cooked now, if you're doing it on the grill, because you've done this a bunch, how long? About an hour. If it takes that long, you'll know when it's done, you'll be able to kind of squeeze it. Just there. soft. It's soft. Yeah, just like vegetables get. Um, you got to remember now that we, you know, we're probably going to have to take off the, the outside. We're going to uh, put it in a bowl. So we want to make sure that we keep all of our goodies that we had in there. Well, we'll dump that right in the bowl with it. And our onion we left, if you remember right, our onion we kind of left. Ooh, see, I could really just eat that thing so, right there. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? So we're going to kind of take off the outside peel of this onion, too, while we're at it. 
so we don't. So it with the high heat, it really caramelizes. Yes. Doesn't that look yummy? Look at that onion right there. And the cabbage and the onion mixture together is going to be absolutely fantastic. We'll throw a little bit of that in there too because it's worthwhile. Peel away the, the outside leaves because obviously they've gotten uh, you know charred up a little bit. They probably wouldn't have hurt you. Um, they actually stayed pretty good. You can see it's nice and moist. And then what I normally do is just take a just take a regular old um, chef's knife, drop this thing down on a thing, quarter it up. Yeah, it's all nice and. Show the bottom, the bottom of that thing. That's what I, I'd eat that right now. It's good, doesn't it? And then we just kind of cut it all up until it's nice and what we need out of this. Again, that's not just steamed cabbage. That's got bacon grease or butter yeah, or butter bouillon, and bouillon mixed in. in and then we kind of throw it in our bowl right there. Where's my onion? There's my onion. Chop that up. Oh, 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 look at that. Chop that into a nice little piece. And then, as always, we want to make sure that we salt and pepper a little bit. And I think I got some salt and pepper over there somewhere that we can use. Salt. I'm sure it's fresh sea salt. That is. And some mixtured up pepper. Oh, this looks great. It's coming in. So that's it. It's like a super quick side. It is a super quick for side. For probably three bucks. And, and you're doing it while you're you're doing it while everything else is cooking. The cabbage and the onions. Who knows how much. And it how cool costs. do you look when you pull the whole head out of the uh, out of the uh, grill and just make something of it? Oh man, look at that! Can you see that? And you want a little bit of char on there too. Sure, I like the char. And when you mix it all together, it sh it, it just it smells wonderful. Too bad we don't have any smell of vision We have television, but we don't have smell of vision I'll do my best to incorporate the uh, delights of this food. I'm going to take a big bite, too. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Mm-hmm. It's still crunchy. Smoky. Buttery. Oniony. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. You gotta do it with with bacon too. That sounds great. Bacon oh, yeah. grease. Throw some bacon grease in there. That'd be wonderful. Um, that's just a real quick side, real quick, easy way to get it. The bigger the onion, the better. The bigger the bigger the onion, the smaller the cabbage, in my opinion, the better it is. I gotta tell you, gang, this is wonderful. Something really even more good. extreme next week. Remember last week, we uh, did it up with some. What was last week? We had the. The Guido explosion. Guido explosion. Oh, that would be good on the front of this, wouldn't it? Next week, even more coming up with uh, some shrimp extreme so the summer extreme barbecue continues come back and send us some extreme great plates we want to see that too at greattv.com every member gang it's really really important in the days today to buy local think global stay sustainable every chance you get hug your mom